Sign substitutions. Here we have the integral of dx divided by the square root of 36 minus x squared. Notice that we have the form a squared minus x squared, which we can be rewritten as 6 squared minus x squared. So we're going to use the substitution x is equal to 6 sine of theta, which we can rewrite as x divided by 6 in order to see the triangle really well. This is going to be opposite over hypotenuse, and when we solve for the remaining side, we get the square root of 6 squared minus x squared. So we have our x, but we also need to find our dx. So by doing that, I'm going to take the derivative of both sides in terms of x. So we get 1 is equal to 6 cosine of theta times d theta over dx, and we can multiply by that dx over in order to get our dx. So substituting both of these in, this is our new integral. First, we can square the 6 times sine of theta, and then we can factor out the 36. Notice that 1 minus sine squared theta is equal to cosine squared theta. Now taking the square root of the denominator, notice that the 6s and the cosines cancel out, and we're just left with the integral of 1 d theta. This is equal to theta plus c. Now, we're not done yet because we started with a function of x. We want to end with a function of x. So here we have to use inverse sine of x divided by 6 in order to substitute theta back in. And this right here is our final solution.